This presentation is an overview of the Microsoft SharePoint product, what it is, and why you would choose to use it. If you're new to the idea of collaboration, this presentation will introduce the concept and show you why Microsoft SharePoint is one of the premier collaboration server applications on the market today. Here we go. When it comes to business projects, getting the desired result depends on getting the most out of your team. When the information that your team needs to perform their duties is scattered across your company and disjointed, it is more difficult for them to produce quickly and effectively. And if communication avenues are tedious or unreliable, the team cannot convey their ideas or results efficiently. In fact, they may lose interest in attempting to communicate with one another at all. To help your team be the best it can be requires tight collaboration and clear communication. Welcome to Microsoft SharePoint. Here we're looking at a Windows SharePoint Services team collaboration site for my company's sales team. This site includes, by default, many useful SharePoint components to help my team stay on task and perform effectively. For instance, the calendar here on the home page displays any upcoming events pursuant to the team's efforts. In fact, I can even change the calendar view so that it displays more like a wall calendar. See? Now the team members who come to the sales team site can choose to view the calendar by the day, by the week, or by the month. There's also an announcements component here on the home page which allows my team members to make important information immediately known to other team members who navigate to this sales team site. Here we see an announcement notifying all visitors of the kickoff for the sales project. My sales team members can quickly add additional announcements by simply clicking the link and filling in the new item. The links over on the right give team members a place to store, organize, and share important URL hyperlinks for their project. These three components, calendar, links, and announcements are called web parts, which is just a fancy name for a portable component that displays information of my choosing and that can be reused elsewhere throughout the site again and again. These three web parts display actual lists available on this sales site. Look, I can click on the announcements title and it takes me directly to the underlying announcements list. Any given SharePoint site is only as useful as the collection of lists and libraries that it houses. I can add new items into the announcements list directly by clicking on the new button and it will show up immediately on the home page of the sales team site. Sure enough, the sales project delayed announcement shows up on the home page. Another useful component in the sales team site is the document library entitled Shared Documents. This document library gives my sales team folks a place to store their relevant documents, spreadsheets, pictures, or Adobe Acrobat files, and other materials they need to get their jobs done. In fact, 
by having the sales folks store their documents here instead of on their own PCs or as email attachments in their own inboxes, the sales team can work together on editing important documents or files and read important information written by another team member. The users can upload existing documents from their PCs or create new documents on the fly. Descriptive information about each of those documents will be held here in the library. In fact, I can customize the document library to add more information about each document by simply adding additional columns into the shared documents document library but you'll learn more about that later. There's even a discussion board that gives my sales team members a chance to post their thoughts or ideas and have the other sales folks respond. Much like an internet message board or news group, the team discussion discussion board encourages freelance brainstorming amongst my sales team members. When a posting has been added to the discussion board, team members can click on the posting and then make their decision as to whether to view the discussion board in a flat or threaded format. All another sales team member need do to respond to this posting is click on the reply link to answer the posting and continue the thread. But if my sales team members need an even more casual area to exchange their ideas, I can create a subsite underneath sales team and choose to use the wiki or blog templates while creating the site. For example, here is a wiki site underneath my sales team project site that will allow my sales team members to begin making postings to the wiki and exchanging their ideas. In fact, the components that ship by default with SharePoint to help your team become more productive allow you limitless creative opportunity to design the best project site for your team. There are so many advantages to bringing a team together on a SharePoint site. No more scattered resources, great notification and communication tools, and a much more creative environment for them to work and think in. To learn more about how to configure the many components available on a SharePoint site, please revisit SharePoint-Screencast.com and check out more of our free video tutorials about SharePoint. Happy collaborating!